Y254. Imagine. Yeye na kwaje inafika time nyingine time poa time ya Jumapili saa moja kamili mpaka saa mbili tutakuwa tunatisha ndani ya chicha karibu rasmi na kumbuka unatufuatia katika mitandao ya kijamii Facebook Twitter Instagram inakuwa ni @y254 channel pale Facebook unacheka katika page ya y254 kuna post ambayo iko pale sasa hivi check comment kupitia comment section mimi nafahamika kama Kendral Beast the gossip command the interview kwa mbele kimataifa mzee wa dakika dakika zangu zinakuwa bora zinakuwa tamt na sana zinakuwa zenye ubora zaidi eh, sababu kulia kwangu yupo ndani I go by the name Eve Nyaga kama kawaida and on Chicha we give you the hottest gossip, new music releases and movie reviews. And our guest host today, Simgeni Apakwetu and we are so happy to have her back, Lynn the Brand. Yeah. I'm so happy to be back. Welcome. Hey, thank you so much. <laughs> yani inasikia ni kama yani you guys nimewamiss imagine yes. it's been like i think two weeks two weeks yes two, two weeks, weeks. Two lakini nasikia ni kama ni one year isi ina ina, ina kwa time tena sana na mimi nasikia raha zaidi sababu najua kila nasema mimi na baridi lakini wao wananipa joto zaidi kwenye mjengo. Hey, yako yako ni mingi sana. Sio joto ambalo nafikiria mtazamaji lakini ni joto la umbea. Umbea utawaka, umbea utashika sana. Au <laughs> vipi? Eva, uh -huh. inakuwaaje? Safi kabisa. Safi kabisa. Mm -hmm. Na cheki nyekundu fulani ulikuwa ma date nini hapo? Hapa na squad date. Tutanipeleka. I can take you. Tutanipeleka. I take you but time now is not good so uh, maybe tomorrow mm -hmm. afternoon eh. Mm -hmm. 12. Okay. Yes mate. Sasa na nimeva red. Nitarudia hii nguo tena. Can take another clothes. Okay. I'm taking notes. You're taking notes. Yes. Ah. Yeah. So next chat mm. story yenu mm. ndio. Yeah. Hata yeah. in, mm. inafata ianze kuwa kwa mtandao by kesho. Oh by kesho. Mm. Mm. Yeah. By kesho. Yeah. No by Tuesday. Ni kesho man Tuesday. Photographer so around tomorrow. Eh, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow to yeah. yes. It should it's be on. Okay. Yeah. Not well. Ina kwa jeli. No no flexible <laughs> power in the name of nini hiyo? Women empowerment time ina kwa jeli. Mm. Flexible ni so mambo ya Mungu Mungu yanakupeleka ah, vipi? Mambo ya Mungu Mungu yanakupeleka vipi? Mambo ya Mungu Mungu. Kadrani tunapenda kuliingilia sana by the way. Ana sana kila sana tunaanga hivyo hapo gospel. Mara anite, mara anite mtu wa kanisa kanisa. Sasa hii tena ni mambo ya Mungu Mungu. Kutaki kukubali just be proud. Yananipeleka vizuri sana by the way. Naona kabisa naona. Ukiwa na Mungu uko na kila kitu. Unaona tu ndani ya flexible power. Eh wewe mwenyewe uko na power. Mimi mwenyewe niko na power. Alafu tunaiko ndani ya shape Eish. Ungekuwa tu msanii basi. Naona uko na mistari. Tabidi tupigi tu lakini na Angekuwa msanii. He was in another life. What happened? I don't know. Muliza. Sawa, so it's okay. It's good sometimes vitu vingine vinafahamika na vinaeko wazi lakini sasa hivi imefika ile time na farm. Wanasema kwamba mimi niliweza kuzaliwa upi wakati kutoka usanii mpaka utangazaji. Mm. Lakini pia kuna watu ambao ni wasanii na watakuwa wanazaa upi wanakuja kuwa a new fathers na pia vile vile. Sijui itakuwa vipi. So mimi naanza na harmonize. Eh? Mm. Unamfahamu mm. na mzungu wake Sara mm -hmm. uh, wamekaa for long na wamekuwa kapo mba kwa wasanii Tanzania ndani imedumu kwa muda mrefu sio mm. na mwisho siku ukapiga harusi tukacheka na picha kwenye mm. mitandao ya kijamii tunaona mm. Monazul Sara vitu kama hivyo akatoomba kangoma mm. and just show much he loves Sara shanelewa yes. so mwisho siku sasa hivi Monaz jana alikuwa katika kuna tour zake anazipiga matamasha kwake mm. so yesterday he revealed that uh, kumba atakuwa ani Sara atakuwa anakona ujauzito na atakuwa anajifungua hivi karibuni It was a good news to uh, fans about ni harmonize no kiangalia Sara pia kupitia Instagram kwake mm -hmm. uh, her, her, her recent poster mm -hmm. ameweka picha kimeonyesha kiselfie flani vile alafu 
kama wewe ni mtu ambaye una jicho la umbela kuzoom in kuzoom out jicho la umbela eh kuzoom in kuzoom out tunaona kwamba kitungo kinakoja tunaendelea ah ya ya so wewe unizungumziaje binafsi nyinyi kama mabinti na pia kama mashabiki wa mziki wa Afrika Mashariki mm-hmm. I think it's just a good thing cuz yeah. at least out of what wa wasafi yeah. yeye ndo ame last na mtu yeah, yeah. you know and mm-hmm. finally at least tunaona matunda ya mapenzi yao yeah, but yeah. Yeah. at the same time yeah. naomba sana yeah. sana as follow footsteps za simba hapana sidhani anaweza mm. the fact that waliachana kila mtu na path yake Hey. Lakini unajua na mimi kitu kikubwa ofi yangu kubwa na natamani na, 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 na sana isije kawa uongo sababu mm. unakumbuka way back kulikuwa na, tu, na story kwamba Sarah is pregnant mm. then we came to find out that Sarah is not pregnant sio mm-hmm. lakini sasa hivi mnaweza ameza kudhibitisha mwenyewe sio inamaanisha mm-hmm. kwamba ni ukweli mm-hmm. sidhani kama anaweza kusimama kwenye jukwaa la tamasha la maelfu ya watu kwenda kusema kwamba Sarah ni mjenzi but i think hata vile umesema hilo jicho la umbea mimi nimeliona kwa hivyo it's good how vipi mtazamaji mbona kupale nyumbani unaachia comment kupitia comment section kupitia page ya y254 uh, tell us what take yako ni gani je unahisi kwamba uh, Sarah uh, ana ujauzito wake ni kweli ama si kweli alafu pia unahisi kwamba mnaweza is going to be a responsible dad mimi mm. tuko vipi mbona mm-hmm. check comment kupitia comment section kupitia page ya y254 mm. so still tukiwa yeah. hapo hapo mm-hmm. kwa watu wanaopata watoto yeah. wanabarikiwa na watoto nakumbuka kuna story tulikuwa tumefanya kurezon kumbuka e, alipokuwa mjamzito and finally ate amepata mtoto mhm kumbuka kurezon kumbuka is now kwa hiyo tumbo kwa kurezon acha ni wape bagan kidogo she is one of ani kwa kwa Kiswahili wanasema kwamba ni mlimbwende mm. lakini kwa kwa Kizungu tutasema she, she, she was a socialite mm-hmm. sababu so, sidhani kama sasa hivi kama bana socialite eh? Ayo za uzazi utaenda kama kuna hii picha ambayo ukiwaona ni society of clip I just love the clip and ilinifanya nikatamani vitu vingi ambavyo nadhani siko tayari navyo sasa hivi lakini hapo mbele nimevitamani sana the way mtoto alivyokuwa analia kile kisauti alafu Corazon alivyokuwa na smile Yo moment ni nzuri sana utaangalia kwamba there is a joy yani kwa kwa heart na pia naamini kwamba mume wake ambaye ni franka mm, ama tuseme mtu ambaye ameza naye ambaye ndo uh, babake huyo mtoto mm-hmm. na mimi pia amepata furaha kama hiyo na ni framba sio kikawaida sababu kiangalia mm-hmm. anavyo anavompokata anavyo the way he does that mm-hmm. hata mimi naamini amepata furaha yeah, lakini yeah. pia bado mm-hmm. at the same time yeah. na simtoke vile alitoka hiyo ni hiyo yeah. that is a very complicated unajua, unajua kuna kitu kimoja mimi nazani kama kwamba kutoka corazon inaweza ikatokea lakini kumtoka mtoto si rais si rais shanelea mm-hmm. mm-hmm. lakini kendo tunaweza tukakuwa na wewe katika mahusiano tukapata mtoto nitakutoka mm-hmm. saa usilete chuki elewa ni mimi nauliza ukitoka mmoja mm-hmm. ukitoka mmoja mm-hmm. umpate na upate naye mtoto yeah. umtoke upate mwingine yeah. mpate mtoto mtoke sasa so, utatoka wangapi na utakuwa na watoto wangapi na mama utatoka na utatoka na wangapi kwa watoto wako wangapi utatoka na wangapi kutoka nao i think if ni ya kutoka ni watoto ni baraka kutoka Mwenyezi Mungu na kila mtu tunakuja na sahani yake so mshwa siku na mimi kwamba uwezo kwa unatoka toka tu lakini mshwa siku na kama sidhani ni option ya mtu kutaka kutoka and then vile umesema yeah. naweza toka yeah. mama yake yeah. but yeah. siezi toka mtoto yeah. mm. kuna yenyewe anatoka nimepata mtoto na huu dem nimemwacha nimepata mtoto na ule dem nimemwacha wengi ni wanachana maybe circumstances zimefanya waachane for example maybe mtu kama nani Franky na the ex wife ama mm-hmm. ex, ex yeah. baby mama sidhani waliachana out of ati nimepata tu mtoto na wewe nimekutoka circumstances ama walikuwa na disagreements kwa marriage yao then they decided tumemalizia hapa mm-hmm. kuna huyo mwenye anapata yeah. akiacha and then hata waishughulika hata kujua mtoto anaendelea that's not good that's not good kabisa ska kama ni mtu ambaye anafanya hivyo just a revisit to search yeah. yeah. like, yeah. yeah. like, yeah. 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 unasema unafurahia vile corazon anafurahia kuona mtoto yeah. wake na si upate pia upate hey, si kama mtoto wa ngozi kama unisikiza vizuri umesema ati pale mbele hapo mbele nitakuwa natafuta sababu na mimi mwisho wa siku tupo hapa Kendrel BC upo leo lakini labda miaka a sabini, themanini kuja sitakuepo mm. lakini kuna mtu ambaye akikuepo itakuwa inaleta ishara na kuwakiliza watu mm-hmm. unikumbuka so msho mm-hmm. siku ndo kuja kusababisha hapo 
mbeleni inshallah Mwenyezi Mungu akijalia. Unaelewa? Mm. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu sijabahatika hata bado kujua hata mtu ambaye anaweza kama mama Shanela. So bado nina safari ndefu sana. <laughs> Sijui kama nipata. Mm -hmm. Yo kabisa lakini uh, kingine ambacho naweza nikaa najua siku hizi things nowadays are so different. Eh? Yeah. Ukiangalia unaweza tukapata if maybe mimi na na ushikaji na Shanela mm. kwambie vipi wa date date lakini tunahitaji mtoto so why don't we do it then tukipata mtoto tutakuwa tunajua tunavoelewana lakini mm. not going to sleep together shanelea okay sometimes vitu viko hivyo na vinafanyika ni inakuwa mbona poa mm. au kisi kwamba bora kuna respect na kuna responsibility na kuwa taken care of mm. that's good okay how vipi kweli yeah. sha sema tena tatu tatu kabisa <laughs> if tuambie bana kipi kimefanyika eh hey, odi wa moranga nimekam Yeah. Nimalizie. Audio mbona ni mbona ni. Yes, so of course tunaongelea mambo ya audio wa Moranga. So he's in a bit of trouble because anakuwa accused of um ku, ni kama ku, si kuiba pesa but something of that sort. So alikuwa amelipwa pesa na umsani. We talked about him last week be classic. Yeah. Msani chipukizi ambaye anafanya poa sana yeah. na alikuwa amelipwa to do a collab pamoja na yeye but now odi wa moranga kaenda akafanya aka use the same the same um, the verse, same yeah. verse the yeah. same verse on another song na huu ni mtu amelipwa na big classic na champion studios mm. yeah, cha yeah, champion yeah, studios ya yeah, yeah. nasimamia big classic so now uh, champion studio na big classic wanataka i pull down that particular song and i ref i need damages i lipe damages for doing that which is so wrong Yeah. Kama umelipwa na mtu mfanye song na yeye, ona that usichukue song yake, uende ukatumie kwa song nyingine. Kwa nini basi mm -hmm. ulikuwa unakuja on board kufanya hizo? Uh, kitu kimoja ambacho mimi kinanishangaza na si semi kwa romba, si semi kwa chuki lakini ni semi kwa kurekebisha vitu vingine. Mm -hmm. Naamini kwamba Audio Mranga is a one talented person mm -hmm. na mwisho siku naamini kwamba kama una, uko na kipaji, mm -hmm. mbona uweze kurudia verse ngoma fulani sababu talent is inbuilt. Mm -hmm. Kama unaweza kuandika unaweza kuandika ngoma zingine sehemu nyingine tofauti na ngoma nyingi sana. So naamini alichokifanya si poa na imeweza kumtafuta wodi lakini sikumpa kwa bahati mbaya sikuweza kumpata mm -hmm. lakini imeweza kupatana na big classic kazungumza naye mawili matatu na mm -hmm. big classic akaniambia kwamba sasa hivi audio alikuwa ameongea na audio Moranga kwamba about to drop the song mm -hmm. lakini audio Moranga akasema kwamba apewe to beat alafu afanye verse nyingine mm -hmm. I said that's so rude no, no, that's no, so rude no, no, no. that's so wrong that, that, that's yeah, wrong, guess, wrong. Uh, sasa hivi mimi binafsi nikiangalia katika macho ya maybe ya mawakili wa sheria mm -hmm. nadhani kwamba Odio Mranga tafali pia angalau mwanzo kwanza damages ambazo amecost sababu hiyo ni kudisrespect kwanza kazi ya mtu mm. kudisrespect kati ya shola ya mtu alipea ni damages nyingi sana ambazo amecost lakini pia arudishe pesa yenye alikuwa yeah, amelipa lakini pia amejifunza mm. uh, wasifikirie kwamba unajua watu wengi wachukua legal matter seriously yeah. kama unajua yeah. ingereza watu wanachukua very serious lakini unapata maybe tuseme Kenya ama nchi zingine watu wachukuli sana serious ni magic sana wamekuwa kifuatilia hivyo vitu sana mm. na unaokiangalia mshoro siku vinamzalia matunda so mm. naamini kwamba pia Odi na wasanii wengine wajifunze kwamba kama kazi ni ya mtu na umeifanya ichukulie serious maneno yeah. turn up the video turn Unajua up the ile audio, kitu ile something. kitu si understand yeah. ni mm. why did he have to take the money in the first place yeah. kama unajua kama alijua kwa kazi poa hey. unajua Bona unajua alichukua unachukua pesa yeah. vizuri alafu unatoka ukijua kabisa deep down in my heart najua anaenda kuweka hii chorus kwa song nyingine mm. yeah. na hiyo hiyo yani si understand bado yeah. lakini wasanii pia wamekuwa na hiyo kuna tu ka trend fulani kwenye sielewi ni nini na happen lakini wasanii wasanii wacha uvivu wasani. pia kazi be creative mm. sababu itashusha thamani yako mm. so mimi nikisikia leo narudia mavasi na maisha not that creative wacha wacha yeah. story na kurudia verse and relvis yeah. ushalipo na huu mtu yeah vasa tasishi okay yeah. ni shida but yeah. umelipwa na umu umeshachukua pesa umechukua pesa hey. ona hiyo commitment ya kututumia mbona usiende pale na utengeneze verse nyingine That's it mtazamaji ambaye uko pale nyumbani achie comment kupitia comment section kupitia page ya 1254 tuombe unatazama uko wapi maoni yako ni yapi sana hii issue audio mwanga jionesi kwamba alifanya right uh, kupokea ile kutoka kwa label ya Champions Studio ambayo inamiliki msanii classic na kurudia ile verse ambayo alifanya katika ngoma yake inajulikana kama katoto na big classic tena kairudia katika black ambayo ameshirikishwa hebu achie comment kupitia comment section kupitia page ya 1254 ila top to top on matter still music on matter still uh, wasanii kuibiana vitu na vitu kama vile kuna msanii anajulikana kama versatile. Ah uh, versatile guess is so versatile na tunaweza mm. kumfanya kuwa versatile zaidi sababu tunamzungumzia hapo kwa mara kwanza. Mm. So versatile kuna clip ambayo imekuwa yeye akimwacha kwenye gari akisikiza ngoma na ni ngoma ambayo beat inafanana kabisa na Tessa ya Nadia Mukami na Calligraph si. Mm -hmm. So ukisikiza pale ina statistics zinasemekana kwamba Nadia aliweza kutumia ile beat ya ngoma ya versatile uh, na versatile ameweza ku that song 
and the song is no more on YouTube yeah. tesa ya, ya, ya Nadia Mkami. Je, unaizungumziaje wewe mwanzo kama mtu ambaye ni mdau wa burudani hususan kusimamia wasanii na vile vile kusukuma kaza wasanii katika mitandao ya kijamii? Uh, first and foremost sijui problem ya yeah, producers wa Kenya ina because i think sijui kama ni 99.9% ya so many songs mm. zinakwanga zimetunaita kuchuna eh? sikuuma mm. kitu kama hiyo zinakwanga <laughs> zimeumwa <laughs> kutoka kwa songs zingine mm. so wanapenda ku sample sana na Sikuizi ni kama wali notice nowadays ni kama tunashikwa nini. So tunajaribu kusample ile enye inakai kombali kidogo si ya Kenya, ya inchi ya inje, ya msani wa inchi ya inje, ya unyi wa kitambo. So mi nafikiria tu ni yo lack of creativity mm -hmm. kwa sababu ni kama ile originality ya kuna. So unasikia maybe kuna nyimbo fulani na kufraisha unaona Uchone, which is not which is not a good thing because at the end of the day mm -hmm. ina affect msanii pia mm -hmm. kwa sababu sasa unaona kama Nadia song ikipuliwa down ni, ni, wewe as an artist unakuwa affected yet unajua producer wewe ulienda kwa producer nini akakutengenezea beat akakwambia so yo. probably hata yeah. hujaisikia uh, like the original song yeah. so wewe hata ujui kama mm -hmm. ime so ina affect artists me just think producers wanafaa tu kwa creative producers wetu wa Kenya please creativity but creativity we have seen tumona ata si kenya peke yake like so many big artists mm -hmm. wana sample like a full siju kama ni ku sample ama nitaita aje but unachukua beat ya an old song and then you remake it in a new yeah. song yeah. Mm -hmm. see something similar na hii ama ni vile mimi siku kuambia ni nataka kutumia ni siku kwa siku chukua hizo siku Najua, siku kwa approach nikakwambia mm. we make a deal out yeah, of this if you make a deal that's good that's right na maisha kwamba ume respect mtu ambaye amefanya kazi yake na pia mm. inamaanisha kwamba umeelewa na maybe kuna maybe kama umeshamlipa ama kuna kiwango fulani atapata kutoka kwa hiyo mm -hmm. so that's right lakini wakati una sample bila kwa kwa ufahamu ule mtu mwingine alafu so una una sample so alafu una sample pia don't want to be creative mm -hmm. you just sampling mm -hmm. it so direct mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so problem sample ni kusa sample the problem ni siku sample the problem ni kukosa ku console yeah consoles na mwenye the actual yeah. 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 maybe not maybe unataka kusikia beat ya Beyonce kali na Beyonce kumpata unajua ni vigumu just be creative producer anaweza ka sample ile lakini kwa njia ambayo utajua ni ya Beyonce lakini you just twist it si una copy kitu exact unafanya copy pasting yani na haribu na choma sana au vipi lakini pia ukumbuke kuna wale watu wenye wako so alert hata ukisample na uweke ka creativity atajua atajua lakini unajua ile creativity itachanganya mtu that's good na maisha kwamba wewe mwenyewe pia uko creative so katika dunia kuna kitu kipa cha nikwambia kitu kimoja hata kitu ambacho tunakifanya leo kishawefanywa before na tukisema tupigie mabango ambayo unayapiga hapa sasa hivi bangles pia kuna mtu ambaye ashafikiria kuvivaa so ushaelewa anything ambacho tunafanya kwenye dunia tayari ishaifanywa kitambo ni wewe tu sasa ni wewe utaifanya vipi kwa katika level tofauti na ikuwe nzuri zaidi so sampling is good but ni kwa creative na kwa creative yeah, because, na bado muongee na mwenye yeah. action yeah. beats eh, yes si ati una, yes. unachukua tu kimalama kwa sababu pia mwenye beats uh. alipitia kazi yeah. yes. yeah. 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 true yeah. Yeah. na i'm sure hata kuna wenye wame sample like three times yeah. maybe hii song ilianza hivi ikakuwa hivi ikakuwa hivi and then sasa tumeipata hivi mm -hmm. Yeah true mtazamaji ambaye uko pale nyumbani achia comment kupitia comment section kupitia page ya watu 54 ambayo tazama kwa wapi maoni yako ni wapi na kibao kipi ambacho nitaka kukionya katika new release za chicha lakini pia ni story zipi ambazo nataka kuzisikia ndani ya story za chicha tao vipi tatu tatu kabisa nasikia kwamba Anne Elisa na Ben Paul nasikia kwamba kuna kama uajeusiv tell us more so Anne Elisa na Ben Paul ni couple wenye wamekuwa aki eh, wamekuwa kwa macho zetu sana mm -hmm. especially on social media sisi social media in-laws tumekuwa tukifuata hmm. pole pole unyo kwa unyo eh, leo wameenda wapi <laughs> wampelekana date wapi wamekuwa kitu update and so eh, rumor has it hmm. that kuna, ni kama wanaweza kuamiachana kitu kama hiyo you know sisi social media in-laws tunafanyanga pia eh, investigation tunaenda tunapikua pikua tunaangalia pale Instagram account ya Ben Paul picha za Analisa bado ziko tunaenda kwa Analisa tunaangalia za Ben Paul ziko yeah. tukipata hakuna of course tunaanza ndomo na watch mm. typing is naanza <laughs> tunashindwa yeah. sasa na kuna post hapa na hiyo namba ya Ben Paul aliandika it's so alerting <laughs> I'm smiling I think it's time to take care of myself and put myself faster uh, if you are trying to reach me at this time I'm so sorry 
I'll contact you. I needed some time cleansing to do. Akika ki emoji cha asante alafu ki emoji cha kopa kopa ni ki emoji cha love kisha kaandika God bless. So uh, ni, ni kitu macho it's all that me ajiweka so direct lakini ni ameweka pia watu mbona kili nyingi na watu mbona kili za